how would we name all the isomers of C5H12? Now C5H12, well, you can draw that different ways. And, and what would the specific names be for them? Well, now look, if we do these line diagrams, these line angle diagrams, these skeletal structures here, what you're going to get is one, two, three, four, five points there, right? And um, we've got uh, three H's that are going to come off of that carbon, two here, two here, two here, two, and three here. Three and three is six, and two and two and two makes the 12, so C5H12 is going to be obeyed there. That is one, two, three, four, five, and that is going to be longest continuous chain making pentane. So that is pentane right there. What is an, an isomer of pentane? Well, look, forgive me for actually doing it this way and then not putting the H's on. I have to put the H's on, but I'm bored right now. Okay, so look, at that's pentane, right? Well, what if I actually took that C off of there and put it right here? Well, what are we going to call that? Well, that's what the line diagram looks like for this molecule right here. What is that going to be called? Well, here's the deal. That's going to be a methyl on a butane. So that's going to be called methyl butane, right? So it's called, this one is called right here. You see that's one, two, three, four, and a branch coming off of there. So that's going to be methyl butane. Now, wait a minute. This branch here is on which carbon? Well, I really said it was on the third carbon from the left, but the second carbon from the right. What do you actually do? You actually have to say where that branch is? Well, in this case, not really, because here's the deal. You know what? Coming from this way or this way, if you took this, took this molecule and turned it around, it would look like uh, uh, the branch was coming off of this second one right here, wouldn't it? Where you do, what you do is you take that branch, you find out where it is on the chain, and you give it the lowest number possible. And now here's the thing. This is going to be the second carbon in from this way, the third carbon in from this way, so the branch is really on the second carbon. But if we put it here, the branch would be on the second carbon here, so it would be redundant to actually say anything other than methyl butane. But here's what you can say. No problem here. The branch is on the second carbon. So the number that we're going to put here is two and then a hyphen. We separate numbers from letters with hyphens. And we say, now look what we got here. We've got a methyl branch that's on this butane, and so it's a 2-methyl butane. Even though if we put it here, it would still be 2-methyl butane, we'd just be counting the lowest number possible. Anyway, that's called the locant of, of that substituent there. Yeah, okay, that's the number for the branch. All right, now, so that is methyl butane, and that's an isomer of C5H12. Now, what's a ah? What's that? That's an X. Would I get something wrong? No, no, no. That's actually an organic line diagram of what? One, two, three. Longest continuous chain is propane with a methyl branch, a C coming off of here, and a C coming off of here. That's two methyl branches coming off. Two methyl branches coming off. So that means then that there's two methyls. That means that there's a Dimethyl propane. That's one word, by the way. Two methyls on a propane. How would that look here? You would take that one off there and maybe put it up top here. And now you've got one, two, three is the longest continuous chain with a methyl branch here and a methyl branch here. So that's two methyls. That's a dimethyl on a propane. That's dimethyl propane. And somebody says, well, do you have to say two, two dimethyl propane? And you have to tell where those branches are by separating the numbers with a comma and the number and letters with a hyphen. You could, and that's fine, telling where each branch is, but you know what? You don't really have to, and here's why. Because if you took, if you said, well, it could be 1-1, one, one, couldn't it? You could just take both of those branches and put them at the 1. Then you wouldn't have 1-1 one, one dimethyl propane. Longest branch would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and you would still have your branch here, this is the longest continuous chain here with a branch here, and that would still be 2-methyl butane. Because even if this is bent, right, or straight chained, it's still an arm. Okay, so those are the three isomers that you can uh, draw for C5H12 and various ways that you can actually represent those formulae.